perfect good company, yes. The power of the dark side. Yo, so how's it going guys and welcome back. So your boy was not planning to make another video today, but the devs surprised me. Finally, they released dev update video. Finally. <laughs> Took them ages, man. Like, there are so many Battle Royale videos. Finally, we got at least one. <laughs> one video to explain what's going on. See what's coming up next. So, first of all, I watched the video, but I'm gonna watch it again with you guys and talk about it a little bit. What I like, what I dislike, and I'm not gonna get hyped because the last time we got hyped for the Krama session, we got screwed over. So, your boy is not gonna get hyped, alright? Alright, with that out of the way, let's see the video, shall we? So, first of all, as you can see, You'll be heading back to the desert for part two of the storyline, but there are also some new sites to see. You'll be exploring ghost towns. You know the last mission you do when you fight the gunslinger in Canny Valley at the moment? That map is the ghost map. That map we're gonna be getting. It's like Thunder Road 99 and Desert Map. It's gonna be called Ghost Town. I'm really hyped for this just because new map means new places to explore, new stuff to see. Really amazing. The second thing though. And helping to get the old band back together in preparation for the thrilling conclusion coming in part three. So basically they are saying that in part three, the Canny Valley quest line is gonna be ending. And thank God, then we can move to twine beaks but i just want to say if you take a closer look at this what do you see first of all so clearly you can see that the ammo is different the ammo on the weapons looks more clear yeah that's awesome but there is another thing that got me by surprise if you take a closer look what do you see my boy all the buffs in one area How cool is that? The annoying thing about the buffs, you can get them, amazing, but it's so annoying to find them. Sometimes you have to spend around 10 minutes just searching across the map just to find the movie speed buff or the building buff. But now it's all of them stacked in one area. The health buff, the repair buff, and the energy buff. All of them in one area. I can't see everything. I'm really excited. Are we gonna get all the buffs in one area? Because if we do, Man, that's gonna be interesting. All right, let's continue. Need to kick off voice recording soon, and expect to bring this next chapter of the storyline to everyone sometime next month. What? What? Next month. <laughs> I thought next month is going to be new event. No! No! The Krama session is gonna stay for another month. Bruh. And what they did as well, if you are power 100, all right? And you have a friend power 20 you can get him with you to power 100 mission if you are in a public mission you can get him in there all right however if you put your uh, mission on private or friends only you can go in there with your friend even if he's power level one i find people that are power 50 getting carried by somebody to power 100 missions it's so annoying and i am happy they fixed that that's really important a lot of people have been complaining about this that's a nice change, all right? Also coming in the 610 update is a little bit of a twist on the Retrieve the Data mission type. The entire zone will be threatened by a storm that constantly closes in around the landing site as the mission goes on. We are getting garbage. We are getting basically Horde Bash as a mission. We'll have more to announce soon, including maybe a little something about free heroes among some other surprises. I'm gonna go sleep. 